Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God said the devil is trying to get you to do things you got delivered from. Look at me. God wants you to keep your eyes on him. The devil is here to steal, kill, and destroy. You have to make sure that you look in towards God. In Romans 16 and 20, it reads, The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. God will always be with us. That's why it's important that we have authority. You don't want to play with God. You know, some of us right now, we speak about God, and, but we still got some ways of Satan. You got to make sure you are with God 100%. Because at the end of the day, you can invite demons in you. and You don't even know that you're being attacked spiritually. But some of you are being used by the devil. Because you keep being lukewarm. One minute you're serving God, the next minute you serving the devil. And you got to make sure that you get rid of the things of the devil. If you're going to hold on to God, follow him all the way. This man loves you. He cares about you. He wants you to live a good life. And he wants you to prosper. The devil don't want you to live. He wants you to die and fall in sin and give up your life. God wants you to do everything right. He wants you to follow his will. And if you don't start following God, you're going to miss everything that he had for you. A lot of people have missed out on God's assignment. And what I'm saying to you is God can give you the best life that you ask for. All you have to do is submit your ways to him and follow him. Allow God to lead you the way that he wants you to go. Some of you need to repent. Some of you need to let go of Satan. If you want God to give you a good life, you need to let go of Satan's hand and tell Satan, get just leave me alone. Get behind me. Leave me alone. Get out my house. You know, it's very important that you have that authority. You have to have that authority to talk back against the devil. Some of you, you, you allow the devil to come into your life because you're not stepping up. You got to step up and say, devil, I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Because at the end of the day, you got to realize your soul is important. You can't play with God. How can you speak of God and you still in lust and fornication? You're doing things of the world. God do forgive. But if you want God to forgive you, you got to get yourself out of unclean demons. Some of you, you can say you're holy, you're sanctified, but still you're lusting. You're still having sex. You're still fornicating. And you don't want to be, God says it in the word. He don't want us to be unclean. If you are clean, you, you're not pleasing at all. We got to make sure we're pleasing in the sight of the Lord. If we're going to follow God, we got to make sure our hands is clean. How can, how can you pray? How can you do something for others and your hands is dirty? That's like a pastor is putting his hands on you and he got finished having sex with a prostitute or he just got finished having sex with somebody outside in the street. That's not clean. You got to make sure you clean in the word of God and you got to make sure you rebuke that devil. Any devil you see, you rebuke it. And I'm going to tell you, sometimes you got to rebuke people in your family. Do what you need to do to make sure you live right. All I'm saying is make sure you serve God and make sure you walk with him daily. God said the devil is trying. The devil try to do whatever he needs to do to get you mad, get you upset, get you to go back into your old title. You got to let go of your old self. Some of y'all, you still talking about your old title, but you need to let that go. Let that one die. Let your old self die. Because let me tell you this, the old self have to die so God can bring the new you. You got to let God lead you the way that he wants you to go. Let Satan know, I don't have time to play with you. Let's fight. Let's get this done. You got to let the devil know, I'm not here to play. I'm here to do what God have me here for. If you want to play, you go and play with somebody else. You got to be upfront with the devil because the devil going to keep thinking that you're playing, you're joking, you're, you're silly around. You got to let him know, no weapon form against me shall prosper. I'm doing the assignment of the Lord. And if you can't understand what I'm doing, I, I, you listen, you got to let him know I'm doing the assignment of the Lord. You don't believe me? I rebuke you.
and keep rebuking the devil because he's not your friend. Some of you think that the devil is your friend. How can you talk about God? How can you be about God and just full of lust, fornication and everything? I'm telling you from my experience, when I was in sin, God told me, you got to let go of all of that sin before you talk about me, before you start teaching and preaching and all this. You got to make sure you clean. I can't touch I couldn't touch anything that was unclean. God don't like that. You don't believe me? It's the Bible verse in the Bible. Right now, they talk about unclean spirits. And it talks about fornication and lust and all of this stuff. You can't pray for people when you in lust. Anytime you in lust and you a pastor, you need to sit down on that pulpit and wait until the Lord forgive you. You need to sit down and repent. Some of you pastors, some of you ministers, you do, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. You ain't been living a clean life. You've been going to the club, looking at women shake their behind and all this stuff. God going to deal with all of these people that is not doing right. You can't preach on Sunday and, you, and then you going to the club on Sunday night. That's 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 a lukewarm Christian. That's a Christian they ain't got they ain't got their life together. They still they still playing with dirt. They still playing with fire. You better fix yourself before you get burned. God bless you. God keep you. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Don't give up, but pray about all things. Stay blessed.